Hello, this is Broer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Try for Railroad Corporation 2. This is the demo uh, that we have available to us from Next Fest, I believe it is. And uh, it's only going to be out for like a week, I think. So try to play as much of this as we can, or at least enough that we feel like we've got a good handle on what the game's going to be looking like so far. Uh, and then we'll just be eagerly waiting for the full release here, I think, before the end of the year. So uh, we're doing a quest right now, or a mission right now, where we've got to supply all the stuff for this pottery factory and start making some pottery. Um, I've already supplied a bunch of coal. Uh, we do need to start getting some more stuff. Uh, the pottery is way over here. And I guess now that I can see that, we can zoom out and actually see all the different resources the different cities can do just by zooming out, which is very helpful. So we're going to need to put a train station over here by the clay pit. pit. Uh, own stations. Let's build a new one over here. And I don't know if there's any reason not to just stick it down here at the bottom. Obviously, we don't want to sell the clay pit. We just want to stick it right next to it. And we'll go with that. It'll electrify it. We're not doing anything electrification right now. I do... I mean, we don't need it long term. So maybe we can just get by with a single track for now. I was going to say, we do want to get a double track at some point. But a single track... I mean, how far can I... Can I actually just connect you? And just trust that you're going to do all the bits and bobs? It looks like we can, which is really helpful. Um, doesn't really matter which one we connect to. That's, that's really nice to be able to just do one straight line there. And there might be some reasons for us to tweak it uh, at some point. Like, for example, here we wanted to go around the hill because it was going to cost way more if we built a tiny little tunnel just to chip into this hill. Uh, here it looks like it's relatively flat, so I think that was still the right move to do that. Uh, we do want to go ahead and get us another train here. And let's buy us a new train. We're going to buy us another mogul. Uh, we can actually... Can we go to a different train depot? Oh, we need train... Train depots are different. I was thinking train station. Train depot, there is only one train depot at the moment here in Shawnee, which is fine. We don't need to get a second train depot just to get another train here. Um, you're going to go to uh, Port Orange over here. And you're going to load up on pretty much as much clay as you can. It appears to be only four. Really slows you down a lot, though. Still, so, I think it's fine. Let's just roll up as much as we can safely. And then we will we add a waypoint. What does that actually do? Maybe we can add a waypoint. I don't know. We'll have to play around with that somewhere at the time. Brian, though, we're going to go ahead and go here. We're going to unload at the pottery factory. And I think it's going to be all we need to do here. You don't need any consumption right now, do you? No. So that will work and we'll get you rolling. And I guess just for why not? Let's just go ahead and get us a repair shop here in case it needs a repair over on that side of things. Alrighty. Uh, we're actually not far off from Glendale here if we wanted to get some passengers rolling through. It would give us the opportunity to go ahead and do like a sidetrack, which is something I was wanting to try out. Yeah. We got money. Let's go ahead and add in uh, a new train line here. We got that one rolling, but let's go ahead and get us another tr second train line here. And um, can I just go all the way back over here? Hit the alt key and just trust that you're going to do it. Now, there's a little bit of lag here already seeing. Uh, I don't know if it's... Is it actually smart enough to do that? It is smart enough to do that. Okay, that's hugely helpful. And then we can go into the train stations and tell it... Um... Go into the train stations, can't we? How did I do it before? I know I could do it from up here. Couldn't I? Now I'm not seeing it. Because I don't even see the ones up here now. Um. How did we do it before? I'm suddenly very confused. Oh, there we go. We have to select the train station itself. So we want this to be activated one way, go in that direction. And then over here, activate this, go one way, go that direction. Okay. That should take care of that. We don't have a lot of money right now, so probably need to wait up a little bit. 
I do want to get connected to Glendale here just to kind of see what that's going to do. We'll get a passenger line from Glendale up to Shawnee. We see the, yeah, we can see the clay on the train. Very cool. All right, the call is actually not unloading here because of reasons. So what we want to do then is probably have you unload just into this town itself for now. Just to keep you running and get us some more money coming in. I mean, there could be an argument for saying that these trains are going too slow, but it's hard to say. I'd have to sit down and do the math on whether or not making it slow down by eight miles an hour or one more load that you don't have to do later is, is better or not. Is it one to one? It is one to one. So as soon as we get these four here, we will have two, uh, four pottery floating about. I don't have anywhere to sell it at the moment, but. It's all right. Start making money by transporting and selling pottery to other cities. Now, since Pottery Factory and Brian is running and producing pottery, we can start making money on this commodity. Gain $500,000 profit by selling pottery. Use the mini map filter. Oh, is that what this is? Oh, 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 wow. That's very cool. So we got pottery down here. And Egan. Or pottery up here. And Euless. Probably Euless. I might even come out the north side of Shawnee to go to new Euless. Just kind of curve around that direction. Might make the most sense. All right, so first I'm assuming we will need a train station up here. Uh, let's go ahead and just from the get go have you have two tracks. Four thousand bucks seems reasonable. If it was much higher than that, then I would assume it might have crossed, a, you know, a section that we didn't want it to cross. But so far, it seems like it's okay. And then you're kind of swinging out a little bit wide. Can we just? And we might be okay with that. I mean, the tracks don't have to be exactly parallel. There might be a reason why that that just is a better path anyway. Um, and then let's get us another train. Kind of want two more trains. I do want to get some passengers rolling right away. Let's get us a train for here. You're going to go by you. We're going to go to start in Shawnee and we're going to add some passengers. Like we can add a whole three passengers. Oh, okay. So we can maintain them or we can have them percent based. Okay. Replace looking. Okay. There's some cool stuff there. Okay. Uh, and then hey, give me a second. Give me a second. Let me finish this up. We're going to go to Ulysses and we're going to unload passengers and then reload passengers and come back up here and unload passengers again. So we're going to apply that. Let you roll a little bit slow. Maybe not the best setup for this, but that's okay. A new delivery contract in Murfreesboro. Mr. Abner Phillips is planning to start a big construction in Murfreesboro. So he's announcing a contract for brick delivery. The contract value is high since there's no brick production in the region. You'll have to invest in brickworks first and organize the delivery of raw materials and actually deliver ready-made bricks to Mr. Phillips' brick warehouse. Okay. Geology exploration. One more thing. To produce bricks, we will need to need quartz. Since there's no quartz mining in the region, we'll have to set up our own harvesting. To do this, it is necessary to install a geology department in our office. 
hire necessary staff and start exploring the region plot by plot. Once necessary deposits are found, we will be able to build our own quartz quarry and start mining. Okay, we will come back to you here in a moment. Um, I want to get us another train. Oh, I need to set up the stuff here. We want this to be activated one way. Maybe there's an argument that one way is not the best way, but I like it. I think it keeps things clean. We know that all our trains are always just going to go the direction we want them to do. Kind of kind of like driving down the road. All right, that looks good. Uh, in the future, I might just actually... Kind of, I just want to see what that did. But I do think I like the tracks being as parallel as possible most of the way up. Uh, and truth be told, we don't need parallel tracks the whole way up. Really what we need is... An, is we could have just done a split like here right next to the train station and had a single track down the middle if we really wanted to. But we've got the money. I think double tracks ultimately is the better move. Um, let's go ahead and come over here as well. We're going to add... We're just going to add a repair shop here. Don't really need it in all these places, but I'm just going to have repair shops everywhere we can for the moment. We might change our strategy in the future. Um, and then we want to get some pottery. So we're going to grab us a new train. Bye. You're going to go to uh, Brian and you're going to load up uh, some pottery. Looks like we're do four. And then you're going to go to uh, Ulysses and unload some pottery. anything you list just uh provides that we need here no there's not okay we'll just let you do that you'll just be a faster train coming back okay so we got four trains rolling and we do need to get the geology going here soon so let's come into our stuff here geology department we're going to go ahead and install the level one here oh wow that's interesting Potentially discoverable resources. We can we can explore low complexity plots with the uh, level one, et cetera, et cetera. Um, level one requires two geologists. Okay, we'll sign some geologists. Uh, looks like we've got a level one here. We need a level two. All right, we're gonna have to upgrade you just to get to level two here. It looks like. Just because I want to get it going. And they're going to start exploring that. Okay, and then we got some medium complexity. Okay. I'll get some information back from that, I guess, in a bit. Pretty low on money, but... Got some things rolling. Especially those passenger lines. T3 here. <laughs> it's not going very fast, obviously. Uh, I mean, I'd still like to do some more research, but... We really didn't have a lot of options for research stuff. Like we need one more level one. Uh, with just more level ones popped up, good. Do you guys have any abilities that are worthwhile to us? Mogul upkeep, yeah, okay. Hire and assign. Now we'll just assign all these. And start research. Cool. Trains are cruising along just fine. So this is a passenger line. Nice. Got the passenger cars. We see your your like box cars, right? Yep. Nice. Okay. Very cool. I like that the that, and maybe it changes the way of the first version of Railroad Corporation as well. I just never noticed, but I do like that they're changing stuff around a bit. These map filters are very convenient. I mean, like obviously, let me move my face again, where we can select pottery. We can see who's picking up, who's dropping off, things like that. Um, you know, obviously, quartz. We don't know any quartz. Oh, it looks like they're consuming quartz down here, but that's all we know about. So stuff like that is very cool. Um, very convenient to have that. Our right, research is completed. I don't know if that really helps us right this second, though, because we don't have all the people we need to research. We are getting a good chunk of money, though.
All right, so far so good. Uh, do we? How long did we have on this? Okay, so twelve more days still. Permanent reduces railroads construction costs and upkeep by ten percent. Nice. I'm glad that there's other bonuses from upgrading these things. It's very helpful. We've laid 9,000 kilometers of tracks already. That's kind of crazy, actually. Yeah, I know it's two lines for every direction, but that's still a lot. Invest in new locomotive. Technologies research. In order to stay in business and develop fast, call has been discovered. Okay. Uh, it, is, uh, it is necessary to invest in research and development. To improve locomotives you currently use, as well as develop new models, a research department is required in the office. Technologies may let your brain, trains pull more cargo, drive quicker, and speed up faster. At the same time, development of something new may take some time, so it was worth start working on it beforehand. Makes sense. All right, so we did finish that one. We need to go to another one. That's coal. Uh, we need level one geologist. Here's level two level one geologists. We've got we got enough for that. So I'm just double clicking assigns them. Perfect. So we're gonna find some uh, stuff here soon. Um, I guess we'll go for a level five now. I'll just grab whoever. Cool. Start to write research. Work our way through some of this stuff, because why not? Weirdly, this little dirt path that we made earlier is actually kind of bothering me now. It looks like a track from Zoomed Out. T1's got a minor malfunction, nothing serious yet. Well, it should be repairing now, right? Yeah, we're going to maintenance. Good stuff. Research completed. Uh, research is not too bad. It's a little different how it behaves, right? But not too bad so far. I do think the idea of having employees that are more specialized but still give bonuses, I like that a lot, actually. All right, I guess we're just going to keep scanning until we can find us... What we're looking for. I'm assuming if we had more, we could scan more than one at the same time. In fact, it might be worth. Is there enough to grab more people? There is. Okay. It might be worth uh, grabbing some more people just to see what that looks like. Yeah. So we can do both these at the same time if we have enough geologists. Good stuff. Uh, nothing found. Okay. Where else it's going to require two? Little complexity over here. Let's just, let's just assign the two that we got over there real quick. At least the money's coming in. Feel pretty good about that. Probably could use a second ca uh, clay line over here. And we need to start bringing coal back to the pottery factory soon. Let's go to T2. Let's let's actually see what happens. Uh, I'm assuming just copying this. 
we literally just pick another one? Go for it. Are you going to wait till T4 goes all the way to the other end before you move? Okay. In that case, that's a reason to have more of those things along the way, right? So if we place a few more of these along the way. And there'll be a few more places for you to... Uh, no, let's just just, play, just place a few. I just want to see what it looks like. In fact, we'll do some on the other side as well. Just to prove that this is what this is going to do. All right. So now we're green. Now we're green. Yeah, stuff like that will work. Just breaking things up a little bit more. Just to ensure that the trains can keep start running while there's still a train on the track. Especially for... I mean, I don't care about this long one that much. Well, I do. Because... Obviously... We do have... Um, it's a very long track. Got to make sure I put it on the right side. Oh, no. Wrong side. No, ah, wrong side. How do I split you? No, go away. Stop. I'm trying to get rid of you. You... Remove. I think we can just flip you, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay. And then... Put one over here if we wanted to. Oh, wait, that's a two-way? That's two-way. Uh, so we actually just need to go into this till it's one way. Cool. All right, so it's good that we can edit these as well after right words, right? That's, that's really helpful. And now that he's already started, this guy knows he can go, so... Yeah, having those things along the way. I mean, we don't need this many. I just was trying to practice and see what it looked like. Usually, a lot of times what I've done in like games like Factorio is usually, you know, as long as you have like a little bit more than the length of your train, of your longest train, then you should be safe to send the next train out, right? But something like this, we might just do one halfway. I don't know. It's hard. I could see it both directions. I could see an argument for... I mean, they're not that expensive. So putting more of them out just means you can go faster now. It does mean stuff like this, right? This train's going really slow. This train can go really fast. He's going to zip up to this next line and then stop. Still, it's better than if he was waiting way back here or anything like that. So it's very good to have those along the way. Wish there was a way to like say, just, just give me both sides, right? Hmm, yeah, which was an easier way to kind of like say, hey, I want to do a pair or something like that. But it's still a huge improvement over what we've seen in the past. That being said, I do think in um, Railway Corporation 1, the these types of things were, they didn't really exist. So the behavior of these things was automatic. If a train was already moving along, the next train would come along and follow behind it on the same track. So it was kind of a, it was already implied, so to speak. But this is definitely a better, gives you more mi micromanagement, which is huge. Very cool. I don't know. I, I like it a lot. It's pretty awesome. How are we looking over here? Uh, we've only made 58,000 bucks on the pottery. Right, so we've got a ways to go on that. But really the big thing is we're just waiting for the geology stuff to come through. So I should probably make sure I'm still paying attention to that. Actually, let's get you... Let's give you a level one just in case we need the level two for something else. Um... I guess we'll do this three here and we'll just grab us another specialist. Wait, did you just go away? You just went away. <laughs> and then we want you to go and you to go. Okay. We'll find some courts at some point. T4 has got a minor malfunction. Presumably it's going to repair here in a bit. Oh, oh minor malfunctions are just little stat 
buffs and debuffs. Well, in this case, debuffs. Fuel consumption increases, but it's not really that big of a problem. Okay, that is really cool to know. I'm I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. This is this is making me happy. <laughs> I'm, I'm wanting the full game already. Got plenty of money. I just need the geologist to find something at this point. How you doing, geologist? So we're working. Uh, how's our research? I'm sure they're done, right? Yeah, they're done. Uh, let's grab you. Our research. Do we get the bonuses even if they're not working? Um... I'm assuming we do, right? Like, for example, this guy's not working. Presumably, I mean, I don't see where we're seeing that. Presumably, we're getting the bonus, even if they're not doing anything actively. Oh, there's even a transaction log. That's pretty cool. Oh, and graphs. Graphs are nice. Cool. Exploration completed. No resource have been discovered. All right. Let's start the next one, and then we're probably going to put a cut in there. Um, start research. Let's go over here. All right, we're going to put a cut in there. When we come back, we'll just play around some more with this, figure out the geology stuff, and see where that takes us. But I do appreciate you guys watching it. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout-out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.